95 deaths reported in Japan, but that number is rising quickly. One uh, Japanese news agency suggests that there are literally tens of thousands unaccounted for. Worse, it is the northeastern city of Sendai. Police say almost every house there has been damaged or destroyed. This 8.9 earthquake was the strongest in Japan since records began 140 years ago. In fact, it's thought to be the sixth largest ever recorded in the world. Experts say it's around 8,000 times bigger than the quake which devastated the New Zealand city of Christchurch last month. A 10-meter high wall of water was sent surging through Japan as a result. A state of emergency has been declared at a nuclear power plant in the northeast of Japan after its cooling system failed. No radiation leak has been reported, but the area around the plant is being evacuated. There was also major damage to the capital, Tokyo, with communications crippled will of course keep you up to date on what's happening in Japan here on RT and countries uh, across the Pacific area including Russia South America the US and Indonesia have all been put on alert for any tsunamis heading their way but while the first waves have now reached America's mainland any major threat appears to be fading for more let's cross to our US correspondent Gianni Chichikian Gianni what's the extent of the danger for the United States well, Alice, as of now, the situation on the U.S. coast looks encouraging. The U.S. islands of Hawaii have, uh, have been uh, first to be hit by some of the first waves of the tsunami, but of course it looks um, it, it lost its power along the way from the epicenter of the earthquake off the coast of Japan. There have been uh, no reports of destruction there in Hawaii, and the fears of a strong destructive impact on the U.S. west coast have of course diminished, and now that we know that the first, some of the first waves have hit um, the U.S. mainland, the west coast, and that is the state of Oregon, uh, we can say for sure that, that uh, it's not as threatening as it was uh, previously thought uh, it would be. But uh, still experts say the impact is, um, uh, is it really uh, of this uh, uh, tsunami is unlikely to cause major, any major destruction. But they also say the aftershocks cannot be underestimated. Everyone is still on high alert here. And Ghani, there have been tsunami alerts issued across the Pacific region. How large is the impact of this earthquake around the world? Well, Alice, experts say uh, Japan's 8.9 magnitude disaster that we've seen this Friday became the world's fifth largest earthquake in the last 111 years. It's been the, the worst, the most powerful since, the, since a 9.0 magnitude earthquake uh, struck the Banda Aceh area of Indonesia in 2004, causing a massive tsunami that killed uh, about 250,000 people in 14 countries and washed away entire communities. Japan is part of this so-called ring of fire, which is a semicircle of earthquake and volcanic regions that passes from South America up to Alaska and back down through Japan to the South Pacific. Those territories remain very vulnerable to natural disasters like that. Okay, Gani, many thanks. Uh, Artis, Gani Chichikian, they're updating us from the States. Many thanks.